The Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, is one of humanity's greatest defenses against cosmic danger. With observatories in Hawaii, Chile, and South Africa, ATLAS scans the skies every night, searching for faint streaks of light, asteroids that could one day collide with Earth. It's the watchtower of our planet, designed to warn us of threats before it's too late. Most nights, its images are routine. Stars, galaxies, meteor trails, and harmless near-Earth objects drifting past. But in August, Atlas registered something completely unexpected. One of its units, tracking an object designated 31-slash-Atlas, recorded a final image before a sudden system shutdown. At first glance, the picture looked unremarkable just another cluster of stars. But when astronomers enhanced the data, they realized something was wrong. The stars didn't line up with known catalogs. There were shapes, geometric patterns etched into the darkness. What should have been random specks of light looked arranged. A triangle of stars formed a perfect equilateral shape. A spiral curve emerged across the image, winding in ratios eerily similar to the golden ratio. These weren't natural formations. They looked deliberate, structured, like someone or something was writing across the night sky. Even stranger, the object being tracked, 31-slash-Atlas, seemed to glow in ways no asteroid should. Instead of reflecting sunlight passively, it flickered like a beacon or a transmission source. Engineers checked for glitches, lens flares, and cosmic interference. Nothing explained the patterns. The image was flagged as unusual, and before the system went offline, it was forwarded to several scientific teams. Within days, whispers began spreading through the astronomy community. Atlas hadn't just taken a final picture. It had captured something impossible, something that couldn't be explained by natural physics. And when deeper analysis began, the mystery grew darker. Hidden inside the image's light spectrum was a pattern, a message. When the Atlas image was run through advanced filters, scientists discovered faint binary sequences buried within the noise of the photograph. At first, many dismissed it as digital interference, but when translated, the sequence revealed prime numbers. Prime numbers don't appear randomly in cosmic data. They are the universal language of intelligence used by humans themselves when theorizing how to communicate with extraterrestrials. This was the first sign that the Atlas image wasn't just a picture. It was a transmission. Further decoding revealed even more unsettling details. The binary stream produced a map-like structure. It wasn't of the entire solar system, but a localized region, Earth's immediate neighborhood. And there, highlighted with chilling precision, was our planet. The sequence showed Earth alongside intersecting orbits of near-Earth objects. Several points were emphasized, marked with repeating flashes in the code. When plotted, they matched known asteroid trajectories scheduled to pass dangerously close in the coming decades. One of them stood out, the massive asteroid Apophis, predicted to pass near Earth in 2036. For years, NASA reassured the public that Apophis posed little risk of impact, but the Atlas image seemed to highlight it deliberately, as if to say, this is the one you should fear. By now, the scientific teams working on the data were divided. Was this some kind of natural cosmic echo? a strange quirk of how light from asteroids scatters? Or had Atlas captured evidence of an artificial intelligence beyond Earth, an intelligence warning us of danger? Whistleblowers claimed the decoded message contained not just maps, but a timeline. 
Embedded in the binary were sequences resembling dates, years counted forward from the present. One date was repeated more than once, October 13, 2036. If the decoding was correct, the Atlas image wasn't just an anomaly, it was a final warning sent through an asteroid that was never just an asteroid at all. When news of the Atlas image leaked, it sent shockwaves across the world. Governments scrambled to deny any alien message, insisting the photograph was nothing more than corrupted data. But independent researchers continued releasing their findings, fueling global speculation. The implications were terrifying. If the final image was real, it meant one of two things. One, an extraterrestrial intelligence is out there, watching us, communicating with us, and warning us of catastrophic danger. Or, perhaps worse, the asteroid itself is artificial, a disguised probe drifting in our solar system, programmed to deliver warnings at specific times. The decoded symbols only deepened the fear. Alongside orbital maps and prime sequences, researchers claimed to find something resembling a countdown, not vague, but specific, years, months, days. The endpoint matched the projected approach of Apophis. Some scientists suggested a different interpretation. Maybe the image wasn't a threat, but a test. Proof that humanity is capable of reading and understanding universal messages. If so, we've passed step one. But the question remains, what happens when step two arrives? Meanwhile, conspiracy theories exploded online. Some claimed Atlas had been deliberately shut down after the image, silenced before it could reveal more. Others warned the message wasn't from aliens at all, but from Earth itself, a natural intelligence encoded in the cosmos, a kind of living universe communicating through patterns we are only now learning to see. Whatever the truth, one fact is undeniable. 31 slash Atlas's final image has changed the conversation about humanity's place in the cosmos. For decades, we've asked if we're alone. Now the question has shifted. If someone is watching, what do they want us to know? And perhaps more chilling, what happens if we ignore the warning? As the countdown ticks toward the 2030s, the world faces a choice. To prepare to listen, or to dismiss the signal as coincidence. But if the Atlas image is genuine, then we are living on borrowed time. 31 slash Atlas's final image wasn't just a snapshot of the stars. It was a message, a warning. And it may have just stopped the world in its tracks.